Hey, you guys want to answer a question real quick? <laughs> All right, so it's it's very easy. It's two very easy elementary. You guys could try it. You know, it's for everyone. You know, it's actually mainly for adults, actually. Yeah, so... it. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's for free, yeah. I'm, I'm not selling anything yet. So the first one is basically a perception test, um, and then the second one will be a physical measurement. So basically, one of these circles is slightly bigger than the other one, and, and I want to see if people could tell the difference. Which one's the bigger one, red or blue? Blue? Which one, which one do you think? Blue. Blue? You? Red. Red? Oh, I Want to take a quick look? Yeah. <laughs> yeah red. red. And you? Blue. Blue? All right. So you almost had it. It was a trick question. So they're the same size. So the reason why I start off with this question is because just believing someone opens the door to being deceived, right? Because if I didn't tell you guys one was bigger, you would have, you know, concluded that they're the same size. Plus our eyes, you know, if it comes to measuring something, our eyes are not good enough. You know, we want to be able to measure it physically, right? So this next one, you know, it's very easy. You guys know what this is, right? Yeah. A level. What do we use these for? To see if something's like a, like a 90 degree inversion. Like 90 degrees from the vertical, which is level, right? Could we say horizontal? Something's horizontal, right? So water, like the lake, could we say that the surface of the water always equalizes? It's always horizontal, right? That's why they put water in this, right? Because the surface always... So this next question is very easy. Again, elementary level. It's not a, a trick question, but don't take my word. So since we understand the thickness of water and, and basically what water does, which one of these two is correct, A or B? Take a quick look at them, you know, look at the measurements, you know, which one represents level correctly? The water, water being level, once it's contained like a lake. Very easy, don't overthink it. If the definition of level is horizontal, you know, which one's the correct answer? Well, then that one. Hey, right? Yeah. yeah, it's the obvious answer, right? Okay. So, the real reason I do this is because, believe it or not, even though everybody knows this is the correct answer, right? There's the surface, no. over 95% of the population, maybe even including you guys, because I did too, believe the answer is B, even though we know it's A. You guys want to know why? Do you guys believe the Earth is a ball? Yeah? So, in order for Earth to be a ball, NASA claims to go to the moon in space, right? So, they claim to do uh, to uh, orbit the Earth, so they need to know the radius of orbit. So, they tell us that the circumference of the Earth is 24,901 miles, so that means that the radius is 3959. So, there, there needs to be curvature every mile. So, at the first mile, there should be an 8-inch eight, eight drop. The second mile, 32 inches. The, the third mile, there should be a 6-foot drop. So, if we were to build a perfectly level structure over a lake, a bigger lake than this, over 2 miles, 3 miles long, that lake should be bending. The surface of that lake should be curving by 6 feet. So, if we start at 5 feet, the gap from the level structure and the, and the water, that gap should increase by 6 feet. So, it should be 11 feet by the end of the structure, right? If the Earth is truly a ball. But the Earth is not a ball because we understand the physics of water always, the surface always equalizes. So the oceans are like a giant lake. So the oceans are not bending around a ball, basically. So the oceans are just, I don't know, uh, you know what a continent is, right? You guys know what a continent is? So I think the word continent comes from the word container because the, the continents are like a container for the water. They have to be at higher elevation so the water doesn't overflow the continents, right? So basically the ball Earth is just a lie. I don't know if you guys heard of people that don't believe in the globe. Have you guys heard of this subject before? Yeah. You guys heard about it, right? Why, why when the ships is far away from, yeah, yeah. The, from the coast, uh, you yeah. don't see the coast? Yeah, yeah. I like that. I'm glad you asked that. So, because the curve that no, 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 no. I'll explain why. So our eyes, they have a limit. So for example, if I were to hold like a circle, this circle in front of you, and then I go further away, that circle is going to get smaller the further it gets, right? Yeah. Because our vision, but the, we know the circle is not shrinking, right? It's just our vision, the further something gets, the smaller it gets. So there's a limit to our perspective. So when something's above us, let's say that pole, for example, right above us, and we walk away from that pole, that pole is going to look like it's dropping in our field of view, but we're only moving further away. So when something goes over the horizon, it's just going beyond our, our point of our, 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 our vanishing point, for example. So here, let me show you a chart real quick um, of how perspective works, because it's actually one of the reasons why a lot of people can't let go of, uh, you know, or even look into this because of that. So, for example, look. When we look at railroads, right, yeah. we, we see them like this, like they're converging, right? Like they're, but we know in reality they're parallel. 
they never come together. Railroads are parallel. But why do why do we why does it look like they're coming together? Because that's a, a matter of perspective. Yeah. Because of a limit of our view. We're not Superman. We can't see forever. Yeah. So that's the reason why boats go over the curve or supposedly go over the curve. So for example, this this graph, for example, uh, will show that even better. This curve here will represent our eyeball. So when something's above and it just moves away at the same elevation, it just drops in our field of view. But it doesn't drop in reality. It just drops in the field of view. And the same thing happens with the ground. The ground looks like it rises because the ground is just extending further in front of us. So let me just show you some quick pictures because I know a lot of people haven't seen these. I haven't seen this before I came across this. So these are photographs taken from amateur balloons that are over 20, right about 20 miles high, which is four times higher than airplanes fly. And it's a perfectly level horizon. You know, there's no curvature. No, the, the, nobody has ever seen the curvature in reality or actually measured it. Because if you could see it, you should be able to measure it, right? So. Uh, for example, people claim to see curvature because of GoPro cameras, you know, action cameras. You know how they have a fisheye lens, a, a wide angle lens that curves horizons. So whenever you see somebody skydiving, for example, they usually have an action camera. Yeah. And when they're looking at the horizon, if you pay attention, when they're looking down and up, the, the horizon concaves and, and, and convex. It goes up and down, it bends up and down. And it's because it's a camera effect. If you take that camera effect out, it's every, every time it's level. The earth is level, basically. Well, it just happens because of the lens, no? Yeah, because of the lens, exactly. So a lot of people think they see the curvature, but it's because they're seen through a camera. In reality, you know, the, the earth doesn't, doesn't curve, basically, because of the water. The, the physics of water tells us that, you know? Have you guys heard of the term sea level, right? Yeah. Sea level, right? That's how we measure altitudes. If something's 15 uh, feet above sea level, and then you go 100 miles, 15 feet above sea level, they're on the same line. They're on the same level, but they're trying to tell us they're not. They're on a curve, but that's not reality, you know? So um, I actually came out and started doing this about two months ago because I don't know if, I don't know how long ago did you hear about this topic if you don't mind me asking. Sea level? No, about about people that don't believe in the globe or, or you know people. Probably a few few couple years ago, right? Yeah, not, not too long ago. Because I came across this six years ago, and like I said, I just started coming out and doing this because not a lot of people are coming out, you know, in the public and talking about this. And one of the reasons is because it's the number one ridiculed subject right now on the news. You know, the mainstream media is never going to take this serious. Why? Because it's literally this simple to understand. And, and why do they lie to us? Because they want to warp our common sense, basically. When they warp our common sense, we're easily, more easily controlled, basically. So, by, so the way they do it is by making us doubt our common sense, by uh, something that's so simple to understand like this. You know, if they could get us to doubt our common sense and, and make us believe it's doing something else, then we have no common sense at that point. You know, then we're just going to believe everything we're told. You know what I'm saying? So it's basically... It's, it's, an, it's a psychological attack, you know, basically, this, this globe earth lie, you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people say like, oh, why does it matter the shape of the earth, right? And it's not really so much the shape of the earth, again, it's more to doubt your senses, to doubt your common sense. It's to make you basically, you know, for lack of a better term, to make, your, to make yourself dumb yourself down, basically, in a way, you know? You know? But uh, no, yeah, it's just a, you guys want to take some information home, you know? You guys want to look into this later? Because I do pass out some, yeah. Yeah, I know I'm not smarter than I <laughs> no, I mean, everybody, this is very easy to understand. Anybody can understand it, you know. Thank you. All right, thanks for stopping, man. You guys have a good one. So, yeah, I'm actually asking the public, you know, two very easy questions, you know. Yeah. Uh, fifth, you know, elementary level, you know. Yeah. If you don't mind me asking, what level, uh, what grade are you in? Second. Second grade. Oh, wow. I'm pretty sure you could even get these right. Yeah. But it's mostly for adults, but obviously kids as well, if you guys want to try. So, one of these circles is actually bigger than the other one, and I want to see if people could tell the difference of which one's the bigger one, red or blue. Okay. Here's a visual test. Red. You think the red one's a big one? Which one do you think? Uh, I'm to take a quick look. Oh, they look about the same size. Yeah, they look I think it's red. Size. Red. You think it's red? So, so you, what do you think? Which one's the bigger one? I or think you, blue one's, blue red. one's a bigger one? Yeah. All right. Well, you almost had it, man. Yeah. They're the same size. So it's yeah. a trick question. So the reason yeah. why I start with this question is because if you just believe someone, that opens the door to being deceived, right? Yeah. So it's always good to, you know, to not just to not just believe someone, you know, double check things for yourself, right? Yeah, you know, yeah, make right. sure, right? But you know, this is very innocent, so isn't you know just to show people. But this next question is very easy. You guys know, you guys know what this is. You know what this is, yeah, right? A leveling tool, yeah. right? So what do we use these for? To level. Level. What would be the definition of level? If you had to like uh, explain to him. Uh, definition level is when you get this bubble. Right. right in, in the, the middle, middle, right? And that that, that means that level. means that this is horizontal, right? Yeah. It's not slanted in a slope, yeah. right? It means yeah. horizontal. So level means horizontal. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Right? So since we understand the definition of level and basically what water does, because water always equalizes the surface of water, 
always forms a horizontal line. You see that? No matter how I tilt the bottle, the water will never stick to the side, you know, yeah. and form a line like this or like this, you know. So this next question, again, elementary level, uh, since we understand the thickness of water, which one of these two is correct, A or B? Very easy. I'm pretty what? sure you could get this one correct. Since we understand, you know, level means horizontal, which one's correct when it comes to water level, A or B? You could get this one. A? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, you agree with them? Yes. Yeah, right? That's the obvious answer, right? Yeah. So the real reason why I do this is because, not because I want to know if people know what the definition of level, because I know that everybody knows this is what level means, yeah, right? Yeah. So the real reason I do it is because over 95% of the population, even including you guys maybe, because I did too, yeah. believe the answer is B. And they actually teach us in school, you know, B. You guys want to know why? You guys want to know why? Yeah. It's because, do you guys believe the earth is a ball? The earth? Is a ball? A ball. Yeah. Oh, you don't believe? You don't? Yeah. Okay, do. you do, right? Okay, so I'm glad you don't. Yeah. So, how long ago have you heard about people that don't believe in the globe? Since well, you're one of them. <laughs> I don't know. I always thought it was just weird. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, so I came across this six years ago, actually, uh, about people that, you know, the ball earth lie and all this. Yeah. So, this will be the number one experiment to debunk the globe. Why? Because they tell us that the earth has a circumference of 24,101 miles, yeah. which gives us a radius of right under 4,000, basically. Yeah. So, there has to be curvature, eight inches per mile squared, which means that the first mile is an eight inch drop, second mile, 32 inches third mile this should be a six foot drop that's yeah. that should be measurable yeah. so if we were to build a level structure over a lake like this like oh, you know miles across yeah. that water should be bending away bending. from the structure so by six there. feet in three miles so if we start at five feet the gap yeah. that gap should be 11 feet at the end of the structure yeah. but if we were to do that we know that water is always going to be parallel to the horizon or the horizontal yeah. You know what I'm saying? So this will be the number one experiment. Yeah. And one way that they're keeping this away from people is that they're focusing on laser experiments. I don't know okay. if you've heard of laser experiments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the reason why laser experiments are faulty is because what happens when you shine a laser in water? Does it go straight? No. No, right? The water distorts the, yeah. the light, yeah. right? Yeah. And it, 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 yeah, it could go randomly depending on how the water is moving, right? Yeah. So the air is basically water. It's like a moisture, right? The air we're breathing. Yeah. So when you shine a laser through the air, guess what's going to happen? There's always going to be refraction. You would have to suck the air out of the earth completely, yeah. and that's impossible and to be able to do this test you know, definitively. But what's a better test than that? This. This yeah. will debunk the globe, I, basically. It's uh, self-explanatory. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, you know, I'm glad you came. You know, you're already a skeptic, you know? Yeah. So, because actually, I was a hardcore believer in outer space. I was like a oh, space yeah. junkie. I believed everything about space, you know? The sun being, you know, 400 times the size of the so earth or whatever. It's weird. I mean, if, you were, if somebody were to go to the moon, you would think that they would want to show it off. Exactly, you know I mean? yeah. Think no, yeah. Think, I yeah. Mean, on top of it, it's only 200 and what, 230,000 miles away. Yeah, there you go. A quarter, a quarter million miles, and, supposedly, and what, yeah. What is, uh, what is Mars? About 30,000 now? 30,000 million? million miles. supposedly, yeah, so, yeah. I mean, it doesn't, so, it, doesn't, fun, it doesn't add up. No, no. Right. So, funny thing about the stars real quick. Yeah. Uh, there's actually a powerful zoom camera on the market. Yeah. It's only 83 times zoom and people could zoom into the stars and bring them into focus. Oh, shit. So that tells us they're in our visible space. Everything's, in my opinion, within a thousand miles. Oh, shit. So look at the planets. So these are the stars that are supposed to be trillions of miles away because yeah. the planets are supposed to be closer, right? In yeah. our, but these are the reason why they're called planets is because they used to be called uh, wandering stars. Planet means wandering. Yeah. And the reason why they're called wandering stars is because these are fixed on the sky like a map. I don't know if you ever see the big, you know, the big dipper. Yeah, All those stars are always, they're always, fixed. They're always yeah. fixed. But these have their unique pattern in the sky. They yeah, actually, they yeah, they actually move around independently. So they actually, um, that's why they used to call them planets because they're wandering. But yeah. they're, they're literally in the, the same distance like the stars because they could be brought into focus with the same camera, with the same zoom. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And look, they look just like the stars too. Like this is what NASA shows us, you know, the cartoon CGI. Yeah. This is what NASA shows us. But this is what they actually look like. These two, you know, these right here. This when is you Mars. Get that zoom in. Yeah, when, when people, crazy. yeah, you need to have a really clear sky, yeah. you know, and you could zoom into these, you know, yeah. and they're they're right there, you know, and people used to use them. The only way you could use stars to navigate is from a level yeah. because you use triangles and triangles have to add up to 180 degrees. Yeah. If you're doing that from a curve, like a globe, you wouldn't be able to navigate using the stars. But the fact that we do and, the, and people did so, tells us yeah. another proof <laughs> that the earth is level, yeah. you know, not only water tells us, but the stars, you know, it, you know. The fact, no, yeah, it's, I'm, I'm glad you heard about this, man. And I um, mean, I'll give you some information you could check yeah, out. Get yeah, yeah. So I actually, my, I actually have a channel and I have conversations with this in public. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, you sure. could check them out, man. And my channel is right there on the card. Um, it's the first one there. And then I put my favorite channels as well right there in some websites oh, yeah, with some information. Yeah, man, I'm glad huh? you stopped and talked to me, man, yeah, before you left. Yeah, <laughs> All right, man, you have a good one. Yeah. Hey, ¿cómo está? Buenas tardes. Hey. ¿Quiere tratar de responder esta pregunta bien fácil? No, pues no, no, no. 
Eso es lo que quiere decir. <risa> quiere decir si es más inteligente que un niño de quinto grado. <risa> sí, que, que, que pueda, fíjese, bien fácil. Uno de estos círculos es más grande que el otro y quiero saber si, si puede ver cuál es el más grande. ¿El rojo o el azul? No, pues obvio el rojo. ¿El rojo? Uh -huh. Ok, entonces, fíjese, fue, fue una pregunta este, tru, 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 truca. No, no, uh -huh. son del mismo tamaño. Sí, entonces la, la razón por qué empiezo con esta pregunta es porque nada más creyendo en alguien abre la puerta para, hacer, para que le mientan, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Porque si no me hubiera creído y no... Pero fíjese, ¿usted sabe qué es uno de estos? Uh -huh. Un nivelador, ¿verdad? Nivelador, sí. sí. ¿Y cuál es su definición de nivel? ¿Horizontal, podemos decir? No, horizontal. Horizontal, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Ajá. Uh -huh. Entonces, ¿usted acepta que el agua siempre en la superficie es horizontal? Cuando llenamos un agua de, de un vaso o una alberca un, o el la, la, lago. Normal, la, pues, sí, 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 la superficie ¿verdad? siempre es horizontal uh -huh. cuando el agua ya es... Entonces, bien fácil, fíjese. De estas dos... ¿Cuál es correcta? A o B, si sabemos cómo es la física del agua y cómo, cómo qué hace, qué, qué, entonces cuál es, es correcta, A o B. No, no, fíjese más cerca. Fíjese, la agua, ¿cuál es, cuál es representa nivel? ¿Cuál representa nivel? Ajá. No, pues el nivel representa este. Ah, ¿verdad? Exacto, ¿verdad? Sí, exacto, exacto. Entonces, la razón por qué hago esto y practico con la gente aquí es porque a todo, más del 95% de la gente en la Tierra cree que esta es la respuesta. Al, ¿Sabe? A lo mejor usted también piensa que esta es la respuesta. Oh, yeah, pero, 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 a veces piensa uno porque dicen que el mundo es redondo. Exacto, ya, ya, exacto. Ya, ya, ya. Entonces, es, es por eso que... A y, veces se va uno por esto, porque si es redondo, pues todo va en... Exacto, eh, pero usted no cree eso, ¿verdad? No, pues no, porque aunque sea redondo, todo modo, el agua tiene que tener nivelación. Exacto. O sea, el plano donde Ajá. Ajá. tiene que tener nivelación. Exacto. ¿Usted sabía que las fotos de la Tierra no existen? Son este Photoshop. Oh, yeah. Sí, no existen. No existen. No existen. Es por eso que yo estoy aquí, porque... Ya salió esto, hace seis años yo me di cuenta de esto. Sí. Y hay mucha información ahorita en el internet que mucha gente se ha dado cuenta que, que nos están mintiendo. La NASA, la NASA es, es un show de magia, pues, para la gente, pues, para los adultos. Para que les, nos mientan de nuestra naturaleza, pues, de la sí. Tierra. Nos, nos, quieren, nos quieren que creamos que evolucionamos de changos y, y que, que, que el Big Bang la explotó, y no explotó todo de nada. Y, pero eso no es cierto. Esto es una creación, 100%, ¿no? Señor. ¿Qué es lo que dice? No, pues ya ahora gorra. Eso <ríe> sí, este, so, sí, estoy aquí platicando a la gente porque sí, mucha gente está you know, viviendo en su imaginación. Sí. You know? Entonces aquí, este, sí, mucha gente ya oyó este, ha oído este tema porque las noticias ya hablaron de este tema, pero echándole burla a los que, a los que no creen que es una esfera, pues. Entonces ahorita es una... Están controlando esta información, pues. Y es por eso que yo estoy aquí dándosela a la gente directo. ¿Sí me entiende? Y porque mucha gente, como ya está programada la gente, cuando oye que alguien no cree en la Tierra siendo una esfera, automáticamente ya se cierran. No quieren oír. No quieren oír. Oh, no te quiero oír. Tú eres un pendejo que no sabes. Y es por eso que yo tengo que, que hacerlo así un poco como truqueando, truqueando a la gente, menos, ajá, ¿no? empezando con una, unas preguntas inocen, inocen, inocentes, inocentes yeah. ajá, y luego ya les, les pego así con la pregunta del agua. Yeah. Y porque todos sabemos que el agua es nivel. Sí, Esto, sí. Esta es la número uno prueba. Aunque sea nivel, a veces, a veces que se ponen a pensar, ¿y cómo es posible ajá. que el mundo es redondo y, y abajo hay agua, en las orillas hay agua? Hay <risa> exacto, que, exacto. La, la lógica a veces no nos lleva por ahí. Exacto, pero, pero la gente pero, no usa la lógica. Lo que sí es la, la lógica es que en cualquier parte es el lago. No va a estar redondo, nunca, no va a estar en... Nunca, el agua siempre se va a caer. ¿Eh? Siempre, siempre, ya, siempre. Sí, la, la, sí. Oh, gracias. No, 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 está bien, gracias.